Tonight is a very exciting night. We are here at Dionysus' winery where I am hosting Olympic speed dating, one night only. Zeus and Hera have decided to forego the godly divorce papers again and are instead renewing their vows. Anyways, I am in need for some drama and with these Greek gods, anything can happen. Uh, one mug of nectar, please. Put on a mask when you approach the bar. You think I would set up shop on the real Mount Olympus with my brothers and sisters and aunts and uncles and everyone else? No. No, thank you. My shop is in Mount Olympus, Massachusetts, far away from whatever else. None of the mortals know I'm a god. I've got spells up and things, and it's been nice, especially with the pandemic. I can limit my customers. Of course, Cupid had to barge in and plan this sh even though gods can't get COVID-19, I can still make them wear a mask. I don't want to see their faces. I thought you were locked up in the underworld, Hades. Well, what Zeus doesn't know won't kill him. I haven't been out of hell in a while. Uh, what year is it? 2013? <laughs> Mustache is still in. I got this tattoo on my finger. <laughs> cool, right? <laughs> cool. Hey, my name is Apollo. I'm the god of the sun, the light, the music, and the poetry. And I am here to find the one. Sure, I'm known to be a bit flighty when it comes to my relationships in the past, but now I've turned 10 million and one. I'm ready to grow up. My God, Persephone, you look beautiful. I have a perfect little table for you, right over here. I'm Persephone, daughter of Demeter, goddess of the harvest. If you don't know me, I'm the woman Hades keeps locked up with him in the underworld. If you know what's good for you, you won't tell Hades or my mother that I'm here. What about my wife? Persephone is hanging with the hellhounds in the underworld. The woman hates me anyway, why would she care if I was here? Welcome to Olympic speed dating, one night only. Now we only have Dionysus' winery for a couple of hours, so we need to get right to it. Which means we can't sit together. This is speed dating, not a fair time. We will alternate. You will be with one partner for five minutes and then move on to the next. Listen, stupid. Aries and I really appreciate this whole little setup you've got going on, but um, <clears throat> we aren't moving. Yes, you are. No. You know, I'm sure Hephaestus would love to know where you are tonight, Aphrodite. Should we give him a call? I don't know why you're here. What about my wife? Wait, do you know where Aphrodite is? I haven't seen her in a week. I've been worried. Did you say Aries? I don't know about you people, but I find speed dating to be very poetic, very musical, very full of life. I am ready to meet the one. The love of Can my- Can you please shut up? Now if Aphrodite and Aries would just move, we could get started. Hello. I thought Zeus killed you. Why does everybody think that? You like my fit? <laughs> Excuse me? You look like a hipster from 2013. Ooh. I thought it was 2013. Yeah, you know that. What? Never mind. <laughs> no, I'm not gonna tell them. I want to see their faces when they get paired up. Besides, Hades has this tendency to blow stuff up, and I need something to ruin Cupid's night. How's it going? Okay. Are you going to Poseidon's birthday party next week? I didn't come here to make friends. I'm here for Aphrodite, that's all. 
I'm the god of war, not birthday parties. Hi. Not in the mood to talk. Cupid? What? I demand to be seated with Aphrodite now! I thought it was really nice that you said you were looking for the one earlier. Yeah, I've had a lot of bad luck when it comes to relationships. How so? I feel like I've either loved too much or too little. I can relate. No touching! We're following CDC guidelines. You look just lovely tonight. Thank you. What do you say we get out of here? My chariot's parked out back and it's got roses and- Time is up! For you, I was worried we'd actually have to leave together. Sometimes I say things I don't really mean. I guess that's the poet in me. Mm. What are you doing here? I could ask you the same question. How did you get out of the underworld, Persephone? I put up all those enchantments! And... I'm a goddess, Hades! You forget I have enchantments and powers all of my own! Agricultural powers! Let's talk about you! You were banished to the underworld! How are you here? I have my ways, thank you very much. And... Why don't we just get out of here? That's just a probably get worried if I'm gone too long anyways. Hephaestus doesn't matter. Well, Zeus will lose it if I cheat his little marriage. All the gods cheat. Zeus is the prime example. I happen to like my outfit. You look ridiculous. Well, where'd you get that dress? I didn't get it for you. Mother made it. I hate your mother. Shut up! I hate your mother! Shut up! Can you guys please quiet down? Shut up! What is going on here? Aphrodite, are you seriously with Ares again? So what did you think was going to happen? You'd find some other god to take you out of your wretched underworld home? I did find someone. Who? Them! Me? <laughs> yes, you said we could leave together, so let's leave. Uh, 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 oh, is somebody having second thoughts? Uh, Why do you keep sneaking around my wife? I don't answer to you. <laughs> oh boy. See what other people are like on the surface? They spread they spread false truths to you, getting your hopes up for something that won't happen. This is why you're better off with me. You don't know what I want. Let's just, just go back to Mount Olympus. No, I won't. It'll be a lesser issue if you quit now, dude. Oh, don't call me dude. I'm a literal god. We all are ass. <laughs> oh, sixth grade insults. Nice. Fine. You want to get real? I guess you could say I got what I wanted. Oh, the drama this night will bring for millennia. Immortality really does bring out the worst in people. And sure, I provoked some of it, and Dionysus' winery will probably burn down from a Hades fireball, but it's really just another day in for these Greek gods, and the drama, the fights, the affairs, the romance, it's what people like me live for. And I am thoroughly entertained. I was not entertained. Moral of the story, don't be like these people.